C'est un grand privilège pour moi d'être de retour pour la troisième année d'affilée pour euh, monter les drapeaux de la fierté sur la colline parlementaire. It's also really important that uh, this be open to everyone. And I see a whole bunch of MPs from different parties. I see uh, Green Party leader Elizabeth May, a whole bunch of uh, liberals, including cabinet ministers, uh, uh, a handful of others as well. Uh, we're going to get a group picture with all MPs uh, up on stage afterwards. So if you could slowly make your ways to the edges, that would probably be better, the MPs. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we can celebrate, as we always do, that this uh, goes beyond partisanship. Because uh, over the past uh, years, we've that made some significant progress as uh, a country on recognizing and celebrating uh, the rights not just of LGBTQ2 communities, uh, but of all Canadians. We've moved forward in significant ways because respecting each other's rights is foundational to a country that understands that differences should and can always be a source of strength, never a source of weakness. That we are stronger and more resilient when different identities, different communities come together around a shared vision of a stronger future, of a better neighborhood, of a better country for us all. And that is truly what we are celebrating. But specific to the LGBTQ2 community, uh, we've made some incredible advances over the past year. Now, uh, can trans Canadians have full protections under the human rights legislation. That uh, is something that we've added. And I was reminded uh, that last year uh, at this ceremony, I made a commitment that we would move forward on expunging the criminal records of those uh, convicted of offenses just because of who they loved. And that, I can tell you, we're receiving uh, royal assent for C-66, that piece of legislation, tomorrow. So it took one year <laughs> to get that through. And of course, many of you will remember uh, last November, we formally apologized for decades of uh, institutional discrimination uh, by the Canadian government, by uh, various uh, organizations like the armed forces and the police uh, against uh, LGBT community members. And this is something uh, that we continue uh, to know we have a lot more work to do because we do have a lot more work to do. And for everything uh, that government can and should be doing in support, in changing legislation, there is a lot more than each and every one of you in your communities across the country can do of uh, promoting not just tolerance, because when you think about it, tolerance, use tolerance in a sentence, I tolerate you. That doesn't sound very warm and fuzzy. That's not what we should be aspiring to as a country. When you say I tolerate you, it's I, I, I agree that you have a right to exist, just don't get in my face too much about it. We shouldn't be talking about tolerance, we should be talking about love and acceptance and friendship and respect. That's what we should be aiming for and that's what we should be building and that's something on each and every one of us as citizens that we can and should do. And if you're looking for inspiration, you're seeing us around here and all these politicians in these big buildings, uh, they can make real changes happen. Well, I want to introduce you to someone uh, that Randy mentioned, someone who's been an inspiration for me uh, with the quiet actions that he's taken uh, that led to a real concrete change in his community. Now, if you know your geography, you know that Owen Sound isn't perhaps uh, the, mo the first place you think of when you think of uh, diversity and tolerance uh, and acceptance. Uh, but my friend here, Ryan Brown, has proved that it is. He stepped up and realized that Owen Sound didn't have a pride parade and decided that he needed to organize it. He wasn't too sure of how it was going to happen, uh, but uh, he got a few organizations involved and suddenly it snowballed and more than a thousand people walked through the streets of Owen Sound, uh, 25 different floats, uh, local leaders of all different levels coming together to show that pride is something we all can and must be involved in, that it goes beyond uh, identity politics, it goes beyond uh, partisan politics. It's something that each of us needs to share that message, that we are there for each other in respect, in ac acceptation, and indeed in love, like your t-shirt says. So thank you so much, Ryan. Give me a hug. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Ryan and I are going to raise the pride flag while Randy raises the trans flag, uh, and we're going to make history for the third year in a row on Parliament Hill.